there are always yeah. certain places yeah. where you get the best rushes and, and be a rush for that, that would, area. And Castle was always known for a lot of rushes. Uh, there would have been a good lot. They always said there was yeah. nothing in Castle only rushes. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, I could never make it. I tried and tried mm. and I still could not do it. Yeah, Tom Kelly down the road has been renowned for years for making the same bridges crosses. I still have yeah. some hanging up at home. Yeah, and my mother was me. brilliant at it. Yeah. yeah. But I There's an act to it. If you, if you don't do it right, they'll just collapse. St. Patrick was down in Tubber Patrick, in Kilpatrick, and um, he was stoned out of it. They didn't want him there. And I heard that from a school teacher that used to look do all history and everything. And Maura Kelly and Mary Bourne and myself looks after that well. And we had a tree with what you call it on it, all those little Yeah, the, the relics. Relics. Yeah. We went down one day and the tree was gone. <laughs> the tree was cut down. <laughs> Someone cut the tree down and it disappeared. So there's no more we could do. We'd go every year and look after the well. And we'd have a prayer service, St. Patrick's Day, every year at the well. Mm. It's a beautiful place. It's a lovely well. place. Yeah. It's very relaxing. Mm -hmm. And people have told me they've got cures mm -hmm. from that well, especially for warts. So It's a very spiritual place. It's, it is very Somewhere spiritual. Somewhere you could just go and sit. And you can get that feeling when you're, when you're just sitting yeah. there. You can get yeah. a lovely, lovely, the calm feeling. Singing. And you can hear the birds, the trees all around. You hear the birds the singing and... Yeah. It's Beautiful heaven on earth now, it's yeah. lovely. He it's knew lovely. where he was going, St. Patrick, when he arrived. In. He did, but he <laughs> could, did, wouldn't keep him. There is the St. Michael's Holy Well. It's in Clonock. And there's, there's one another down one then. Hayes is in. Yeah, what's this? Is that? St. Ivers. So, yeah. St. Ivers is a holy well. And the prayer service at that heavy year That's as well. It's kind of Arkler Rock area, is it? I've been near Arkler Rock. Mm, it's heading down that direction. Yes, yeah, yeah. near Arkler Rock, between Castle and Arkler mm. Rock. One of the wells has dried up. That's the Clanock one. Clanock has dried up. Yeah. And then if, if it does get wet, if the rain comes into it, it overflows. Mm. So it goes from one extreme to another. They bring holy water with them and they bless the land and they go from field to field and they say a couple of prayers and then they come back and that's it. The land's been blessed. We used to go to all the various different farm places, even as children, like you could walk around for miles and we did walk for miles. And sometimes you'd have a, a billy can and you could boil up a neg or two on your way to keep you going while you're collecting all the eggs and you'd get anything from banty eggs to huge big duck eggs. you get a fair amount of eggs um, from all the various farmers. Some would run you, but most of them would be very accommodating. They wouldn't mind giving you a few eggs. You'd get nettles and um, dip the nettles in water and make it we thought, <laughs> colour the water and we'd try to, to paint the eggshells with it and whatever, but we wouldn't have had the same access to paints and things that the kids nowadays would, so you'd have to make your own whatever. It never turned out as well now, I must say. We would have tried to, to mix up different uh, weeds and things like that to, to make the colours, to colour up the eggs. They, they would be hard-boiled by the time you would, uh, and then later on when you discover wasn't going great, you'd eat it. <laughs> well, the only thing I remember was on Good Friday with the eggs. You'd never have an egg without a put, put a cross on it. Right. Mark a cross on it. Mm. My mother, if we did it, she'd say, throw that egg out. Mm. We always had to make sure there was a cross on the egg before we'd do anything with it. Mm. The minute we'd get an egg, we had to put a cross on it on Good Friday. And that always happened. Well, when we were when we were young, we would have went and picked a skiok off the ditch. It had to be a nice skiok, like nice shape of it, something like a nice Christmas tree. It had to be the right shape and whatever. And then we'd get whatever coloured 
rags or paper or whatever, uh, eggshells and whatever we could, and decorate the tree with it for Easter. And then we'd walk up and down. <laughs> I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> we'd walk up and down then parading with our, our maybush. Then in, it would be a bonfire, usually around May time, in the community, and the maybush would be burnt on it. Yeah, if you gave anyone anything on the 1st of May, you'd be giving away your look. You never gave some milk to a neighbour, or you wouldn't have given uh, anything, anything uh, because it would be giving away your look. It was supposed to be very good for your, your health yeah. to walk in the dew, yeah. in the, any right. dew really, but yeah. particularly in, in May time, like the spring of the year. Your circulation and all is supposed yeah. to get a lot better. Yeah. My mother always said, my God, don't ever bring a hot thorn bush into the house. No. The flower. Someone will die. Yeah. And it did happen. Mm. So one brought a white bush into Mammy's. The white thorn. And a relation died. Yeah, and woodbine is another woodbine. one that was never brought right. into the house. Does a beautiful woodbine with a beautiful smell on it. You daren't bring don't it into the house. Don't bring it into the house. No. And she gets so angry. She said, mm. don't attempt to bring the hot thorn in. I don't want to see it. Mm. And we, would, we wouldn't look, look at it in the ditch and that was all. We wouldn't take it down mm. or cut it or anything. Yeah. But there was a Robin who lived in our house. Mm. Mammy used to come in and see her mammy's head. Mm. Not, no one ever died. <laughs> well, I would, I would believe that one. Actually. Yeah, that yeah. could ha yeah. happen to some people. Could it didn't yeah. happen for, to us. For early this year, I had a lot of robins coming in to the house and in the back door and whatever. And my brother died last March. Yeah. So you see. for a long time before, yeah. before it happened, and I haven't seen him. Now, maybe it's the time of year, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have, I would have, yeah. uh, it was something my family always believed, my mother always believed that. Well, it happens to me in a different way. I always dream my mother comes back. I dream for holding my sister's hand that passed on hmm. and my brother. And I always said it's going to be a debt. And my sister passed on in July. She hmm. wrote a year on. It does. It, always, there there it would be a lot. Happens all the time. Mm. Happens yeah. all the time. She always comes back to me. Mm. And she's been in a huge big room and very sad. And I always said, that's it, it's going to be a debt. And it always happen, has happened for years. I think different families have different expressions of what's, yeah. you know, uh, going to happen next. You know, we yeah. all have. Years ago, it would have been the Banshee in certain families would have. Danny is here, the Banshee. Yeah. Oh, I heard the banshee. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I heard it. I'll never ever forget it. Mm -hmm. Right under my window. Yeah. My God, it was dreadful, dreadful. Mm. But it was was certain families, it was supposed to have uh, came to others, it didn't. So. There's a river down. Andy uh, would have always told me the river down in. The Arhe River. Mm -hmm. There was always light seen of galleons, which would have been big ships going up the river. They used to think mm -hmm. there was a, a smuggling going on up there, but there was always supposed to have been lights on the river where there could have been no boats. I mean, Something it's not happened. deep, not deep enough for for. Uh, but there is a, a local story about the the lights on the river. The Murnin Tuck is the name is a name here in Castletown anyway, for uh, fog over the river. It just appears right. over the river. And some right. people say they see, you know, lights going along the, the the fog as well kind of thing. You'll just get a fog that will be basically only over the river. And they call it the Murnin Tuck. You may and look it up to find out what that actually means. And <laughs> High Park, there's always a big light scene going mm. through the wood. And people used to get terrible fright. Mm. I've seen it myself. And I was riding the bike, I was only a child, and I was coming up back from the shop here, up to Mammy's. And I saw this big light coming closer and closer. And the more I pedalled the bike, oh God, I was terrified. 
and I went in and I was snow white and Mammy says, what's wrong with you? I said, I saw that big light at Hyde Park and she said, it won't harm you. She was afraid to frighten me. Yeah. But a lot, a lot of people seeing it. A big, big bright light coming. Oh, terrible, terrible. Remember Lee Mellos used to say with his aunt, um, my brother and a friend was going one night down the road and I saw this huge big black dog and it looked straight at them, big real red eyes and they had a motor on a motorbike and the motorbike stopped and they couldn't start it and then the black dog just disappeared and the bike started. No. no, my son was born with a, what do you call it, over a modern white, Leo. It's a special thing, it's only very seldom they're born with it. And they told me he never would drown or burn in a fire. And he was in the sea, Collier Cabinet's two sons went in on a horse. And the horse didn't come back, kept going out. And it was up to there on them. And Leo had to go in to save them. It was all in the papers and all. And he called everyone on the beach to come in and hold his hand and someone else hold their hand and all that. He actually got the two boys out and saved their lives. Mm. And he didn't drown. So very, I firmly believe it. Mm. A coil, they called a coil. He was born with a coil. Mm. It covered yeah. it all in like a white mm. net. Mm. Yeah. Always visit night. Always visit yeah. night. Yeah, we we and we wouldn't have costumes per se. We would just find something belong to anybody and dress up in them and whatever you covered your face with was your visit. Uh, sometimes we might be lucky to get one to be able to buy one, but we could never afford it. Very you have rarely, a sack, yeah. You'd a have hole to, in the top of the sack yeah. and down over you, mm. and paint your face with soot. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. all we could do. That's, yeah. That's all we could do. And you walk out for miles and the road would be slipping, you'd be slipping on the road and falling yeah. and mm. oh gosh. You'd look a mess. <laughs> you'd look a mess. <laughs> terrible. Yeah. Take it that long to get the sun yeah. off your face and yeah. dye out your hair and yeah. <laughs> terrible. But there, there was no actual thing. Halloween costumes in them days. It no. Just wizards and the more more um, artistic you were, the better you are. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Right. Christmas when we were young would have been more to do with the smells of Christmas than the decorations and you didn't have lights in the towns or anything. We did mm. in, in Gorey now, but we were never allowed up to town to look at them. <laughs> so we could go to the end of the town and look up all right, but we, we wouldn't have been as children allowed to go up the town. You see too much. <laughs> yeah. You want too yeah. much, then. <laughs> the less you knew, the better. Yeah.